presentation generally can't make a career, but a presentation can undo a career. <laughs> We're really looking for people who are, are working at a level beyond their current level of responsibility. Any presentation before a senior group is a milestone in your career. If you don't have that one element, the ability to communicate, the ability to present, the ability to persuade, then you're not going to go to the higher echelons of that organization. You're just not going to make it. As you know, the program started in 1999. And in 1999, when it, the it, this is still strict cron. Go to go to the go to the problem and then work as peel us back if there's any time left by the time. I'm about out of time. I think I'm so, gonna have to leave. Oh, okay, so let me uh John and I spoke about it the last time we met. We need about $200,000, an investment of our time. Our leaders need this program. It's tough economic times. We're not able to compensate. So that revenue increase will be about $25 million. The third is we have had great success with our subsidiary and our partnership, and that's about $10 million. Uh, Sharon, uh, you, you, you might want to stop a bit since... Uh... This is no, internal no, 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 training no, no, no. for our people. This is thousand dollars in a training. Steve is right. This is about yeah. revenue enhancement. Why do you want to do this? This is another one of these. This is an area where we can continue to grow. Yes, absolutely. Follow a training dollar to a revenue line. Nobody's ever done it in their life. Exactly. Right on. Yes. Well, as I think you've seen, it's just a really a unique opportunity for us to reduce costs. Hey guys, what is so important for you guys to be talking about that you can't be listening to this presentation and, and make a decision on something so important? Why don't you just continue? Well, I'm going to take that as a yes to the proposal from you guys. Are we ready to wrap up? I think we heard more than enough. If you had a 50-minute presentation and everything's running late and at the end I say to you, you have 15 minutes, you should have already known before you walked in that door, if I can only present three slides, which ones would they be because I need to get this done? Getting engagement. That's what you're looking for. If you don't have it at the beginning, stop and get it. If you never get it, go home. I think you can acknowledge that everybody's busy. Mm -hmm. Just stop and say, I know everybody's busy. And is there some way I can, you know, just have your attention for a minute to get to the punchline and so we can make a decision and move on? What happens when the CEO leaves or the decision maker leaves? You need to be cognizant of people's attention and eyeballs, mm -hmm. all of them. Yeah. And, and that's almost an automatic scan around the room. What you don't want to do is, um, is for both you and your sponsor to sit back and, and let it happen, right? So you want to be able to make sure that you still have control over the situation, one either uh, from yourself or through your sponsor, so that you're, at the end of the day, you're going to get the decision that you wanted. You can't shush your audience. On the other hand, if it looks like there's a dialogue going on that could be pertinent and relevant to the discussion, there I think it's totally okay to say, excuse me, I just heard a piece of what you were saying. Um, can you expand on that? Because I want to be sure that we're addressing all your concerns. The perception of senior people of your work is what makes you stand out. Wow, there's a really sharp person. And they just come onto the radar screen more than perhaps they were before. Above all, maintain your composure and your confidence and you will win the day in the presentation. Mm -hmm.